Hi guys, I hope that you're having a fabulous day. Welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, today I have a handbag reveal for you. A reveal on the newest member to my Lueve handbag family. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you do, make sure and give it a thumbs up. And without further ado, let's get started, shall we? All right, so very quickly, uh, if it seems like I'm talking a little bit weird, I am. Uh, and that's because, that's because I have a temporary crown, uh, because I broke my tooth. I shattered my tooth and my feeling. Way to go, Minnie. Uh, so I needed a temporary and my tongue is constantly gravitating towards that tooth and I cannot leave it alone. And I have noticed that I'm talking a little bit, you know, so I don't know if maybe you guys would have noticed or not had I not said anything, but, um, I just want to throw it out there just in case, just in case you're like, dude, what is up with her? I don't know, but <laughs> let's get back to, to the reveal, shall we? There's some things that I feel like, dude, just keep your mouth shut. Like, why do they need to know? I don't know, but um, so, Lueve. It is safe to say that Lueve has become one of my all-time favorite brands, one of my all-time favorite luxury brands. And I think that they are such an underrated brand. I don't feel that they get the recognition that I truly feel that they deserve. And it's, and it sucks, you know, uh, because the quality, the craftsmanship, their leather is out of this world. It is undeniable. And I truly feel wholeheartedly, this is just my personal opinion. I truly feel that their craftsmanship, their leather, and uh, and the quality that they that they have for their items, not just handbags, just in general, rivals many of the higher up luxury brands, and oftentimes blows them out of the water. Again, just my opinion. I know that a lot of people aren't a fan of the brand. I know that a lot of people aren't a fan of the silhouettes that they have when it comes to their handbags. I completely understand that. But again, I do think that it is such an underrated brand. Uh, and not to mention, it is LVMH's oldest brand because Lueve has been around for a very, very long time. And I don't think that a lot of people know that, uh, but I have a major, major soft spot. And ever since that one puzzle bag that I got what was it, three years ago? I have been hooked ever since, and I think that they're absolutely amazing. So here it is in its dust bag. If you follow me on Instagram, you guys know all about it. If you watched the shopping vlog when I was at South Coast Plaza, you guys will also know which bag this is. I could not get it out of my mind. I kept thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? Just go for it, dude. Just go for it, and that's exactly what I did. So here it is in its dust bag. And I picked up the beautiful, to me, the beautiful mini flamenco clutch in the soft white Napa calfskin leather. I love this bag. Now, just because I love it doesn't mean that I also don't feel that it looks like a leather dust bag. Like I, I genuinely think it looks like a leather dust bag, but a gorgeous leather dust bag at that. I love this bag. I fell in love with it before I went into the boutique. And then after that shopping vlog, like I said before, I could not get it out of my mind. I thought about going for this in the Ghost, which is that really pretty uh, cool gray, but the white, the white just makes my heart sing like like crazy. So that's the one that I got. But I love how simple, how simple this bag is. And the reason why it's called the flamenco is because it does have this drawstring closure as well. So when you pull this, it's supposed to resemble the skirt of a flamenco dancer. Now the flamenco clutch uh, was actually released, if I'm not mistaken, in the 1970s, and it was revamped a while ago. But this bag has been going strong for decades. So I think that is absolutely fabulous. I, I think it's gorgeous. Again, very, very simple. You have this drawstring closure, or you can kind of leave it like so. And let me take this stuff out. Let me give you guys a proper handbag tour, because I know that I have been failing at doing handbag tours as of late. So this is what we got going on inside. Again, this is the mini size and they have a variety of sizes as well. And after this one, no joke, I really want to get one in like the larger size as well. I think these are gorgeous. So you have this beautiful gold suede lining on the interior, this stunning 
this stunning, ridiculously buttery soft Napa calf skin on the exterior. And it doesn't have any zip pockets. It doesn't have any, any organization. It is just one open compartment, one open little pouch. It does have the magnetic closure and it has that soft, magnetic closure there. Uh, and you will also notice that it has two little rings on the side because this bag comes with a removable, adjustable uh, strap that you can use crossbody as a longer shoulder strap, as a shorter shoulder strap, what have you. You have that option. It is a little bit on the skinny side, but even on the skinny side, it doesn't feel like it's uncomfortable um, and it doesn't feel like it's gonna dig into your skin either just because this leather is so unbelievably soft. Like I wish you guys can feel this through the camera because my god it is just like it's like butter it's like butter baby I don't know but it's amazing absolutely amazing I am beyond stoked about this bag and I know I say that all the time when I do reveals or unboxings but this bag is like you know I don't know I feel like if you like this bag then you get it you know that's just the way that I see it but and here it says uh, Lueve made in Spain. So again, very simple suede uh, lining and there are no exterior pockets. I know that the camera keeps getting really, really dark. Uh, there are no exterior pockets. It does not have any feet along the bottom. It just has the black varnish. And I asked, um, because I did go back to the boutique, I think it was probably a month ago, uh, and I asked the sales associate, I said, I wonder why they do the black. Is it because the black varnish, is that to hide, you know, any type of wear marks that you might get on these, uh, you know, on this part or on the sides? And she said, that's exactly why they do it you know, versus it having white varnish. I know that the white varnish might look a little bit more, um, it might be a little bit more appealing in that sense, more aesthetically pleasing. But uh, if it hides the wear marks from where you would normally get wear marks, then I am all for it. Uh, but you have the embossed anagram on there. But again, simple, simple. If you saw this bag on the street, you'd be like, dude, this chick is carrying like a leather dust bag. That's it. I don't think you'd really know much about it. Uh, unless you knew the brand, unless you knew the bag, then then I think that you'd be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, that's the mini flamenco or that's the flamenco bag. But I I absolutely love, love, love it. It is so unbelievably soft uh, and I'm not going to baby it. You guys know, I promised myself years ago I would never end up babying a bag and I look forward to, uh, to using this bag to the fullest. Am I worried about color transfer? I'm not. I'm not worried. I know that with Napa leather, with Napa calfskin leather, uh, sometimes it might be a little bit easier to absorb those um, those darker colors. And I do wear a lot of dark cl uh, colored clothing, a lot of denim. But even with that said, I'm not worried about it. I'm definitely not because because I have another part of this reveal. As much as I love this strap, as beautiful as I think it is, and I do think that it complements the bag very, very nicely. Although one thing I do have to say about uh, Lueva's straps are these little guys right here, the adjustments. These are sometimes a pain in the ass because you have to feed it, like pop it through. Sometimes they get, sometimes it can be a little bit fussy. At least that's the way that I see it. So these guys tend to get a little bit bigger the more like you adjust something it starts to do this so let me put this strap on so you guys can um can see what it looks like fully fully but i am i'm so stoked and of course i got white of course i got white they have um they have oak they have khaki they have pink they have so many different colors and again if you guys saw that vlog you can also get different handles uh, like, well, that's an extra thing, but you can get a handle for it instead. But that's pretty much what it looks like. Very simple, right? And boom. I love it like this, just by itself, without the strap. Use it with the strap to use it crossbody. Because again, you have the adjustments. It's not like that whole one size fits all. It drives me nuts. So, you know, open it up just like so. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, when I say I'm stoked, like I mean, I mean, I am beyond stoked. Okay, so as much as I love this strap, that is not the strap that I'm going to be using because yo girl, we got this. Now, I said it before that 
I think that <laughs> this is, it's a crazy price point for what it is, all right? I'm not blind to that. We've discussed this before. Just because I like something doesn't mean that I can't point out the cons. Um, this is a pricey addition to be adding to a bag, but I think it looks worlds better. Not saying that it, not saying that it looks bad with that strap, but I think it looks worlds better with this. So I got, some of you already know, I know you know, I know you're already like screaming at the camera. I know what that is. Here it is in its little dust bag. I picked up the stunning, absolutely stunning gold donut chain to go with that bag. I love this donut chain. You guys know how I feel about Madame Morticia's donut chain with the matte black. I think it really elevates the look of, uh, of their bags. So again, as much as I love that other one, this to me is just like, oh, it's like the cherry on top. I don't know, but I am super, super, super excited about this. So let me show you what it looks like on. I feel like I'm talking like, <laughs> does it sound like that? I don't know. Okay. Beep it out. Ah! I love it. I love it. I love the way that this looks. I love chains on bags. I love the leather straps, but the chains, there's just something about it. You know, someone asked me, do you think that you're ever going to get out of this era of, of buying these chains for bags? I don't know, because I really like, I really like being able to make it a little bit more me. It has a little bit more of my personality this way, but I love this. So let's do the drawstring. Boom. What do we think? Look at this. Look at this. I love it. I love it. So if I wanted to use it just like so, like on my hand as a hand carry bag, on the crook of my arm, if I wanted to put it on my shoulder, it has a uh, a long enough uh, strap drop to where it's not going to hit right underneath my armpit. And it just feels so comfortable. Now this chain is a little bit on the heavier side. It doesn't feel flimsy by any means whatsoever. It does have Lueve written or engraved on the, um, on the, uh, on the hardware but I, I love it. I absolutely love this donut chain. And if I could have all of the colors for their donut chains, I totally would. But it just looks different from any other chain that I have, you know? I feel like it kind of gives it a little bit more, mm, a little bit more oomph to, uh, to the bag. But yeah, all right, so now I'm going to include a couple of mod shots so you can see what it looks like on my body frame. For reference, I am five foot five, and I will also include uh, a really quick shot of what you can fit in here because even though it is the mini clutch, it, this is the smallest one for the flamenco, it fits a very impressive amount of small leather goods in here. Uh, so I do tend to go a little bit more compact with it just so I can maximize my space. I know I say that all the time, I sound like a broken record, but I don't necessarily like jam pack this bag either. But even if I do have like, even, even if I have more than what I would normally carry in here, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't weigh down my shoulder. When whether I use it with this chain or whether I use it with the leather strap, it doesn't feel like the strap, either strap is digging into my skin. This bag just feels like it, it, it feels like it weighs nothing, but at the same time, you can feel the quality, you can feel the, the leather, you can feel just the craftsmanship of it. It's pretty versatile for a little pouch. And even though this is the mini, I don't think that it's too, too small either. Uh, but as I mentioned previously, I can definitely see myself going for a larger size as well, just because I love it that much, but I am a fan. So that is the mini flamenco in the soft white Napa calfskin leather. But anyways, that does it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to give you a little bit more information about this bag, especially if you wanted to know a little bit more about it or if you have been thinking about adding it to your collection. Uh, but what do you guys think about Lueve in general? Are you a fan of the brand? Are you not a fan of the brand? Whatever the case may be, let us know in the comment section down below. But I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next one. And as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day.